Hey, you. Yeah, you. Watching the screen right now. Come on a little trip with me, Jeremy Gold, alias G. <laughs> Make yourselves at home. Famous folks. Hang on to your hats. I trusted you! Welcome to Famous House, the exciting new reality show with your host, Jeremy Gold, played by Jason Goldstriker, and me, your boy, Big Thinker. This is how day 24 went. Oh my gosh. At 9.38 a.m., Jeff starts the day off complaining and confessional, then downs a sip of whiskey. He hides the bottle behind the blue carpet on the wall. At 10.37 a.m., Jeff remains in the kitchen, complaining about Frank briefly to Nifty. He sits there, repeating, It's funny till it's not funny. And... He might kill a mother effer, and he hopes Frank dies. Is this what remains of D.B. Cooper? At 11.30 a.m., Nifty begins assisting Bert with cleaning the penthouse. At 2.30 p.m., Nifty explains fish tank lore to Binks using the coloring book. Binks asks if there were really cameras in the bathroom, and Nifty says yes, but that there was a partition to hide you. However, it didn't do anything to muffle sound. Binks is a little stunned by this information. At 3.30 p.m., Bert schizos out. The details, not important. Uh, mm, uh, D.B. Cooper, 57. Uh, gay sex, 57 years old. Hmm, um, uh, uh, this, this means something. At 3.47 p.m., Ben tells Bert that they're going to do a scene where Bert tells Nifty about his fetishes. Unbeknownst to her, Bert beckons Nifty to the penthouse. What are you guys talking about? Uh, the things I like, um, my kinks and fetishes. I mean, as you know, like, you call me smelling your shoe. Yeah, you like that a lot? Yeah, the smell of your... You wanna smell it again? Hey, yeah, if you don't mind. On my side. Yeah, the whole thing. And, okay. And that was a ruse to like, okay, yeah, of course. Okay. No, that makes perfect sense. Oh, and you couldn't tell me though, because I it's genuine the real. Yeah, absolutely, of course. Yeah. Okay. Love you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Frank. At 3:51 p.m., Frank pours juice on Jeff. It's about to go down. Another mother, mother, mother toaster. How are you gonna light your cigarettes, man? How are you gonna light your cigarettes? After throwing the toaster and screaming a bunch, Jeff is ushered away by production. Luca comes to give Jeff a pep talk and calm him down. Jeff is close to tears. At 3.59 p.m., Bert says that he's into water sports Smelling shoes, threesomes, groups, and cuckold play. His attraction to men is more romantic, and his attraction to women is more sensual. Bert is suspicious Peyton is a minor in disguise, and that this is a To Catch a Predator-esque show. At 3.59 p.m., Luca brings another bottle of booze to Jeff and shares a drink with him to entice him to start drinking more. Luca tells him not to tell anyone he did that or Luca will get in trouble. Banks comes in with a small toy football and they throw the ball around playfully together. Whee! At 4.18 p.m., Jed asks Jeff if he'd call a few of his friends to come hang out at the house for a couple of days. At 4.35 p.m., Jeff and Bert embrace. Jeff also keeps repeating on loop to Bert that he cannot have romantic relations with him in his buttocks, but he is a big, beautiful black man. At 4.50 p.m., Peyton is instructed to tape garbage bags to the floor of the hallway. Sam instructs the fish, everyone except Symbol, to paint a mural on the wall. 
At 4.55 p.m., text-to-speech says that they'll give $10,000 to the show in Jeff's name if he smooches Bert for 10 seconds. Jeff gives him a quick kiss on the lips. At 4.56 p.m., the mural they're instructed to paint appears to be symbol. Sam tells them to use lots of red, white, and blue. At 5.36 p.m., they've been calling people into confessional one by one to ask them what the worst thing they've ever done is for a game or challenge later. It's really boring, and they have a hard time getting anything really bad out of anyone. At 5.40 p.m., Sam and Ben are discussing getting some of Jeff's friends in the house and kicking Mizzy because she won't do anything they ask her to. Miz, Mizzy can crack it. I just feel like she hasn't earned, she, she hasn't tried in a single competition. I know this is like a basement conversation. I mean, all these like, people are turds though, so it's like, yeah. why, not, why flush one of them? Likely a bit, since they're having the conversation on camera. At 5.46 p.m., Bert tells Sam and Ben two different stories about him trying to drive people to unalive. I had a friend, we used to hook up here and there while I'm off. He kept saying he loved me, and then I cussed him the fuck out through a text message. Then he texted back saying that he's sick, that he has cancer. And I said, well, why don't you go fucking yourself so that you don't have to deal with the cancer anymore. Um, and I never heard from him again. I don't know if he is dead now or if he's still alive. You got anything darker than that? In 2019, um, I had these uh, customers who screwed me over. A few of them I would take a special interest in where I would stalk, harass, menace. We repeated endless text messages, hounding them over and over again, telling themselves, giving them detailed plans on how to commit, writing obituaries for them, trying to go with them and take themselves. At 6.06 p.m., Frank enters confessional with Mizzy. You got a rose. Cool, thanks. Yeah. Here you go. Life is busy. It's just embarrassing that, like, you can come and fuck with us, but you can't even sleep here because you're so afraid of getting fucked with. Yeah, I'm scared. Obviously. Yeah. It's pretty pathetic, honestly. I'm actually not obese or overweight. So. At 6.15 p.m., Bert blocks the stairs to the hallway, telling Frank he won't let him hurt any of his family. Frank turns around, and throws that ass in a circle, knocking into Bert and knocking him down, completely disabling him. Bert leaves, saying he's bleeding. At 6.44 p.m., Frank is going insane, pouring condiments on Mizzy and stomping her suitcase. She's crying. Stop it! Bert, get him away from me, Bert! Come here, Piggy. What? Bert, get him away from me! Frank, stop it! Stop this! Oh, oh my god. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, come here, stop it! Come here, come here. No, stop it! Oh, oh! Use every single last drop of the people, or you will scream! At 6.53 p.m., Frank is stapling Symbol's clothes to the walls. Yeah. Are you not entertained? Hey Frank, you got an murder. Oh really? Yeah. Thank you. Toy room. Yo, no more paint, symbol, no more paint. There's no paint. I'm actually Come on, you gotta, you gotta endorse this, man. You slip my armpits. Oh, you, uh, you know what, I'll leave this right here. You can endorse it, you know, when you're... Maybe enough the syrup on the carpet. That'll be good. At 7.02 p.m., Frank falls down the stairs. Twice! I love my fucking hope you felt that, you fucking fat cunt bitch! You see that shit, motherfucker? Ah! Time twice! At 7.06 p.m., Frank pours an entire gallon of milk on Jeff. Jeff shatters a glass out of rage, 
And this slices open Frank's hand. You're a fucking ashtray. Open hand, slap the cunt. Frank, Frank. At 7.09 p.m., Sam, I mean Jason, orders everyone to come to the den and bring their fish bucks. At 7.18 p.m., Jason says the fish collectively paid 37 fish bucks to get rid of Frank. When Bert gives his fish bucks to Frank, he does so with his heart broken, as he had fallen in love and then was betrayed. And I stand by that that is some of the craziest shit I have ever seen on camera. Bravo, Jet Neptune. And Frank Hassel. At 8.06 p.m., Frank has been eliminated on the website. For now. At 8.30 p.m., a new freeloader arrives. It's Ian! The king has returned! <gasps> yeah! At 8.56 p.m., Burr tells the other fish that his family contacted production, making sure that Bert wasn't being held against his will and that his mental health was okay. Bert mentions that there's cops downstairs. Again! At 9.03 p.m., Luca asks Jeff to come with him. A poll on the website is overwhelmingly in favor of kicking Jeff off the show. Jeff is sentenced to spending the night in the flat slash bar bathroom. An announcer on the website then says, Changed my mind. We're not kicking off Jeff. If you want your tokens back, hit up support at fishtank.live. My bad. Jump the gun on that one. It's now confirmed that the cops did show up to the house and were likely called by Bert's sister. Caller states that a male is being abused on a live stream website show called Fish Tank. It's going to be a black male, over six feet tall, late 30s. I believe he's schizophrenic. Control the responding units. Further update from the RP who is requesting to stay anonymous. It's going to be a very large house. Uh, people are putting their hands on the party in question. There should be nine people in the room. RP believes that the male doesn't understand the consequences of being on this live stream. He's also being told he cannot leave, and if he does leave, he will end up in another house. Caller states that the male in question has been staying up for days and days on the live stream and that you should be able to recognize him by wearing nothing but shorts or underwear. At 9.43 p.m., Niffy confirms that the nickname for season two behind the scenes was Autistic Fight Club. At 10.50 p.m., while Bert falls back into theory crafting in the penthouse, it's fish tank lore dumping time with Nifty and the rest of the fish in the den. Nifty talks a lot about season two events that could provide Bert with valuable insights into the show if he wasn't isolating himself in the penthouse. At 10.57 p.m., Bink slips up and mentions Ice Poseidon's Hunger Games that feature John and Letty. Uh-oh! It's possible she heard about it by being a streamer, but she brought it up out of nowhere when Nifty was talking about blood games. Oopsie daisies. At 11.21 p.m., Jet is asking for investors to boost Fish Tank to big bro. 
bro status. He wants to make Fish Tank on Mars next. Elon Musk, you down? I'm gonna build a fucking spaceship. I'm gonna build a real space, a fake spaceship in a warehouse. And there's gonna be a pilot seat with a throttle and they're gonna have a simulated space journey to Mars. It's gonna take 92 days. There's gonna be a real crew that lives in a simulated spaceship. And there's gonna be a docking door. When they open that docking door, maybe it's another ship. Maybe it's an outside terrarium. The next batch of contestants are gonna fucking go on a lunar mission and run into aliens. And they're gonna battle and uh, they're gonna come across abandoned ships. And I'm gonna buy a used fucking the things that connect the airplanes at when, when the airplane pulls into the, what's it called? The fucking place you get on the airplane and it's like the collapsible thing like that. It's gonna dock. Okay, you see what I'm saying? This is money. I want to build a fucking spaceship, bro, and I swear to God, if it's pi I'll do pirate ship after, but I want to do spaceship first. That's all. Ugh. All right, I want to build a fucking pirate ship, okay? I want to do a pirate season. I'm very, very serious about this, all right? Vance's feet in my face if it means that I get to fucking live as a pirate. A pirate ship, searching for buried treasure, they found the treasure. They finally found the X, okay? And who knows what's inside the chest, okay? Find us somebody who can give us money to build a pirate ship. Pirate season. Captain Kid, Blackbeard, fucking parrot fish toy. Uh, whatever, okay? I don't, I, I need this, please. At 12.57 a.m., Ben brings Taco Bell to the fish. It's not enough for all of them. Diabolical Jet. He then brags about how he can order DoorDash whenever he wants and walks down the production stairs with the Taco Bell. Oh, man. These people are pure evil. Call the cops again, why don't you? At 2.10 a.m., Big shows off the drawings she's made tonight. One of them is of Chris Chan, who's going to be a father soon. Congratulations, Chris Chan. And one of them is Ms. Smart Schoolboy 9. Not sure who the others are. And there you have it! That's how Day 24 went on Famous House. Consider supporting me by liking, commenting, subscribing, joining my Patreon, charging your lower Dantian, absorbing the moon's yin energy, and sending me good vibes! Check out FishTank.Live to tune in live and subscribe to their official FishTankX.com page and YouTube channel. Stay skippity!